You know, when you have a disappointing result like Tuesday night, are you welcoming the fact that you've got a game to come around so quickly? Yeah, very much so, yeah. Um, I think we've all got um, so red after Tuesday night. Um, not our greatest performance, that's for certain. Um, and the sooner the Bristol game comes around, the better, because we need to improve on what we did Tuesday night. Um, but one thing I don't doubt in this group of players is their resilience and their spirit. And... Um, I believe that when we take to the pitch on Saturday, we'll, we'll, we'll show the right response. Yeah, I was going to say that, you know, the characters that are within your dressing room, so you, you expect the, the right reaction that you're looking for? Yeah, I do. I think we showed that in the second half. Um, we, we lacked quality in the second half, but we showed better urgency and we took the game to, to Shrewsbury. Um, you know, we were the dominant team away from home, pushing for that equaliser. We just didn't, we just didn't provide... Um, the quality or the right decisions in the final third that we, we, we should have done. We didn't create enough goal-scoring opportunities. Um, but we showed a, a better response. Um, I thought we were flat in the first half and there's you know, maybe various different reasons for why that happens. But when we cross the white line, we've got a job to do and we didn't do that um, on Tuesday. And it's up to us now to show that response and do something about it on Saturday. What do you make of the opposition? Because they, they built up a little bit of winning momentum under a new manager, and then they've had a, a short COVID break, and you know it's probably a bit hard to, to prepare the same way, isn't it? Yeah, from the analysis that we've done, they're they're a hard team to predict. Um, obviously under a, a new manager, um, and they've had a disruptive sort of program themselves. So I'm sure Paul's trying to find the best um, best formation, best team. Um, and he, he might be a little bit unsure on that at the moment. So um, we have to concentrate on ourselves. We have to concentrate on our team and what we need to improve on on Tuesday night. And they're the, they're the things that we'll be concentrating on. Sam Walker's loan deal has now been extended, which is a very good cover considering that Chris Maxwell's only on the verge of trying to get back. Yeah, that was important. And I thought Sam was excellent the other night. To be, you know, he's not played, obviously, a lot of football this season. And to be thrown into a game like that, I thought he's... Uh, he's general performance and his presence in the goal was excellent um, so we're delighted that he's decided to carry that on he's obviously um, helping us out and we're, we like to think that we're helping him as well and that's you know grateful for Reading as well and it just allows Maxi to um, return to training and we can assess him and gradually build him up so he, he's fit and ready to return whenever he's fit to do so. No other concerns, touch wood, from Tuesday night? Um, not from Tuesday, no, obviously, you know, CJ will, won't be available and he won't be available for a number of weeks, so I won't need to keep mentioning his name in the next few weeks. He, he, he'll be a miss, but other than that, everyone else, um, other than Maxi and Matty, will, will be fit and available, ready to go.